next video, I want to share with you some extraordinary and useful exercises that will hopefully improve lung function. Physios, it's one of the specialties of physiotherapy, but these exercises I came across some many years ago and have found them extraordinarily useful uh, for treating patients with things like asthma, all sorts of chest conditions, or generally the people who, because they may be older, they may have arthritic joints, they actually don't get out of breath. Because if you ask yourself, when was the last time you got out of breath? There's going to be lots of people who say, well, yes, when I was running round the garden 800 odd times to complete the marathon, maybe, whatever it happens to be. But there's quite a high percentage of the population who actually stop being able to get out of breath. So the lungs themselves then start to say, OK, if you're not going to use me, then I'm not going to keep this function going. But these exercises are designed to make you work your lungs, to expand them, to get them really working well and to improve the oxygen uptake and the carbon dioxide release. So I would suggest now is a very good time because I say to patients, please don't do this in public because people with white coats and with very long arms could come along and sort you out. So at home, in the privacy of your own home, these are the exercises. Now what this involves is three puffs out, which is as if you're trying to blow on a trumpet. So you really puff out the cheeks and you go <sighs> as hard as you can go and you'll feel your diaphragm and stomach muscles working. And then what you do is to take two breaths in as if you're trying to suck through a straw a very thick milkshake. So it's a <sighs> and you're really straining to get that in. So to recap, it's three breaths out, two sucks in. So it's just that, all right? Now don't keep doing this because you might go a little bit dizzy, but the idea is once you, you can do that easily, then you couple it with marching. Now, if you're not happy doing it standing up at the moment, you can do this sitting down. But essentially what it is, is Just that, all right? And I wouldn't do it more than that many times at a session, maybe even just once a day. But what you're making all the muscles do and the lungs themselves is to work to their capacity. And that capacity will gradually get more and more and more. There is an extension to this of when you get very clever, uh, and it's called turbo breathing, but I might cover that in a separate video because it's, get this one first. Get that sorted out. As to why you should do it, there's, um, let's just add in a little bit of anatomy. Breathing itself is started, that in-breath starts with movement of the ribs. The ribs, as in the podium here, they have a membrane lining which is stuck to the ribs and then there's another membrane inside of that which is stuck to the lungs or part of the lungs more correctly. Between those two membranes there is a negative pressure so as you move your ribs then that pulls both membranes up and inflates the lungs which makes the air suck in. All right? And then the reverse is true obviously for breathing out. So it is movement of the chest wall that initiates the breathing. So if your chest wall isn't moving well enough or you're not breathing from down here, the lower ribs are not moving, then you're going to breathe very, very shallow up at the top. I want to say shallowly, but is that right? I don't know, but shallow. So if we come back to this, which is you should feel this working down here. And as you do the sucks in, then you can feel everything working. To prove my point on the breathing and the movement of the ribs, if you put your hands just on the side there and then just take a breath in just very simply and you'll feel the ribs moving. Breathe out and then they collapse in. So it's that in and out. It's what we call a bucket handle movement 
in most of the ribs and it's that movement that causes the lungs to expand, the air to be sucked in and of course the reverse as it goes out. So I'd say to you if you haven't done any of this or any constructive breathing exercises like this, do that three puffs out, two sucks in, three times, once a day for a week. And then we can move you on to where you're doing the walking, how do you eat in with the walking or the marching, or even simply sitting and lifting your legs up to do it, as if you're marching on the spot but sitting in a chair. Do that for a week and then we can increase that complexity and really get those lungs working. And of course, if you do that, you're also helping in a little way, but you're also helping is heart function. So the heart and the lungs, of course, go together and you want the health of both.